I love wrestling. Check us out. And you we love wrestling. We love wrestling? Watch that shit. I'm even rapping. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Carmichael, America's Sweetheart. And if I love wrestling, and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. We love wrestling. We love wrestling. I told you. We love wrestling. Yeah! Today, guys, you see her over here to my, did I get it right? Yes, I'm pointing the right way. <laughs> right over here, we have America's Sweetheart. We're going to find out why they call her America's Sweetheart. Shay <laughs> Carmichael, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right, Shay. Uh, thank you for being here with us, giving us this time, you know, being America's oh. Sweetheart. I know your time is precious. Uh, <laughs> so the first question that we always ask here is, why do you love wrestling or what started your love for wrestling? Mm, I've loved wrestling since I was eight years old. Mm. Actually, it was, you know, the the Mickey James versus Trish Stratus at WrestleMania. Uh -huh. That was the match that got me into wrestling. Were you a Trish Stratus fan or a Mickey James fan? A Mickey James fan. What about Mickey James drew you to being a fan of? Her craziness. I really loved how crazy she was <laughs> definitely loved it <laughs> what would, would you say you taking some aspects of her craziness and put into your character um a little bit maybe i mean if you watch me i make some crazy faces during my matches sometimes so i would say probably yeah oh okay <laughs> so how do you get started wrestling um growing up being a wrestling fan um well basically so I was graduating high school and I knew I wanted to be a wrestler and it was in COVID time. So I was looking up online, trying to find a school, trying to find a school. And I luckily found a school and I started in 2020 and I've just been training ever since. Okay. Been training ever since. So I recently seen you at Mission Pro. Yes. I believe that was your debut at Mission Pro. Yes. How, how did it feel being down at Mission Pro, getting a debut, one of the top women's companies out here that people look at? You know, that was actually really amazing because that was my first match back in like 10 months. I had a neck injury 10 months ago, well, 11 months ago now, and I actually got to have my comeback match at Mission Pro, so that was a very special moment. You had a neck injury. Did, did the neck injury happen from wrestling? Yes. So how was it trying to recover from that neck injury to get back in the ring? Did you have any times where you didn't feel like, uh, I don't want to do this or withdrawn from trying to get back into the ring after, with the neck For injury? For sure. It was never that I didn't want to. It was always like, can my neck continue? Um, I'm only 21 and I already am like in a lot of pain. I was like, should I, is this for me? Is it, am I good enough for it? That's how I felt. Um, I had to go through a lot of um, chiropractor appointments. I had to go to a chiropractor three times a week for like two, three months in a row. It was just, it was really bad. It took a huge toll on me on work. And then it took, it took me away from my passion. Did your, did you have to change your style or did your style switch up after you came back from your neck injury? Um, I wouldn't say no. No, I wouldn't say it did just because I haven't, I've never done a lot of crazy things. It was from a move that I had taken. It was from a power bomb and I just took it wrong and that's how it injured it. But so I really wouldn't say that my wrestling style has changed any. I'm a lot more like focused on my neck. I would say I do like go out of my way to seriously protect it now. Okay. So if people haven't never seen you wrestle before, what would you describe your style as? Um, I would describe my style as I do a lot of chain wrestling and I like submissions and a lot of kicks kind of in a way. A more grounded kind of a wrestler. A technical wrestler? Yeah. Okay. Who would be some of your top technical wrestlers if I had to ask you that? Mm, you see, I don't watch a lot of technical wrestling. Like, I know I do it. But that's just like what came natural to me. I watch a lot of more of the people who do like crazy things. Yeah, like Athena. I watch her. I watch Athena. I watch like Alexa Bliss. I like Io Sky. Like all those like crazy moves that people do. I watch more, but I've never really been 
watching other people who do technical wrestling, I just found that technical wrestling fit me as a wrestler better. Mm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. What's your <laughs> uh, I will wait to ask that question. Okay. Okay. So I you another question I usually ask. If you had to face three people, no, let's ask this one first. If someone if you had to describe your style to people and they like I'm asking, like if I look at a point and you can describe maybe two matches you had with people, what two matches would you say? best describes how you would how you wrestle hmm. i would say i had a match with mj santana and a match with killa kate i feel like those were the matches where i showed mostly my style of wrestling mj santana and killa kate yes two people out of the texas area yes I've only ever really wrestled people in the Texas area besides my match with Tiffany Nieves. How do you feel about that? Like Tiffany's out there, she she comes with like fierce and has yeah. that attitude, a little swag to her and everything. How how did you feel about that? She's definitely really fierce, but it was definitely a great match. I felt like she pushed me to an extent and it made me feel good about it. And she was definitely a tough component opponent and that was your first appearance at mission pro but i see that they bring you back for mission pro true colors yes uh did they announce your match as of yet yes i'll be wrestling la leona alejandra the lion watch out for her claws for sure i've been in the ring with her before so i know what to watch out for <laughs> <laughs> you say them claws be getting at people yeah <laughs> so we do have a part here um we have another person who usually do, do these interviews with us. Okay. We had something to do tonight, but she sent me some questions. Uh, just some random exploring questions that are not to do with wrestling that I'm going to ask you here. Okay. And just see. So, shout out to Dora also. If you could be reincarnated as any animal, what animal would that be? Mm. That's a good question. Probably a cat. I love cats. You love cats? I love cats. I have two cats and I love them. So I asked because we we've had a few other people say cats also. So <laughs> I asked why why did you pick a cat? Is there a specific reason or I mean they just do whatever they want. Like find find a good loving home and they run that home. They just do whatever they want. They live their best life. It's a life I want to live, so that's what everybody say. Cats just roam and do whatever they want to. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite flower? Roses. Roses. Mm -hmm. Red or white roses? Mm -hmm. See, I like white, white roses, but those are hard to come by, I feel like. They, they are. A lot of people just be like red. What do you mean? White? Yeah. Got to ask about that. At this time, you know... Uh, with being a wrestler and everything, do you have a favorite TV show that you that you watch it right now or show? I'm watching Jersey Shore, actually. The new the new ones? No, I've never seen any of it, so I'm like literally watching all of it. I think I'm on season five right now. Oh, you went back to the beginning. Yeah, because I've never seen any of it. <laughs> that was a time to be Great. alive. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot back then. What is your favorite color? Blue. Blue? Yeah. You probably tell though. With my gear and stuff. Blue. I, I I mean I saw the blue. I didn't know if that was like your favorite color. Uh it looked kind of tillish though, but it looked maybe it's a light like blue. Turquoise is what it is. Turquoise? Like turquoise blue, yeah. Okay, we go with that. We like it. You know, got blue all in the logo and everything, so that's a great yeah. Uh, uh oh, what is one thing that can always make you smile? Mm, that's a good question. I don't know. Mm. Making jokes, probably someone that's funny. Are you a funny person? Do you make jokes? 
I don't make jokes, but everyone thinks I'm hilarious, and I don't try to. So, I would say, I guess I am funny. <laughs> you said you don't make jokes, but everybody say you're hilarious? Yeah, I, I don't know. I say just, like, I guess I say the randomest things, and people just think it's hilarious sometimes, but I don't ever really try. Like, if I tried to make a joke, I wouldn't be funny. It would oh. be, like, silence. Okay, okay. What is some... What is someone or something in your wrestling career um, that has influenced you? Mm. That has influenced me? I would probably say it's no one like, not anyone I really look, truly look up to, but Emmy Camacho has influenced me. Um, we've been together since the very beginning. I started a few months before her, actually, and we've been like this ever since. And we've gone through a lot of hard times in wrestling together and i feel like she's influenced me a lot to keep going would you if you had to describe you if i described you as uh mickey james would emmy be your uh trish stratus i'm sorry probably yes yeah she'd be my trish stratus okay what's a memorable moment you've had in your wrestling career so far um well, a big memorable moment I probably would say is my debut. My debut was a pretty big moment. A lot of my family was there, and I wrestled against my best friend, Emmy Camacho. And it was actually the day before my 20th birthday. Did you win? I did not win. No. She turned heel on me. She turned against me. Oh. Wow. That's when she came out that she was a Camacho. That didn't happen at Inspire AD, did it? No. Okay. That happened at um, DFW All Pro. Okay. Because I was like, I was watching some, and you know, it's a lot of Camachos down there. I was like, oh my goodness. Look There's at a ton of Camachos. Camachos. It's ridiculous. It's like a, a whole family reunion every time I see it down there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, being on a road wrestling in Trucks' area, do you have like a favorite food or a favorite snack that you like to eat or have on the road with you? Mm, you know, I've come to love hot hot fries, actually. Or like, you know, Bucky's, like stopping at Bucky's. When I went to the Mission Pro show, I think we stopped at Bucky's like three times because I love the candied pecans. Like, what are they, cinnamon glazed pecans or something like that? I love those. I've been to Bucky's once. Really? Uh, and it's just, it's too much. It is. Uh, and I never knew about those pecans, but they're, they're amazing. Yeah. Y'all got, y'all got a lot of stuff down there in the Texas area. Um, what area are you from? I'm in Indianapolis. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a Midwesterner living in the Midwest. I'm not, I'm from the South, but I live in the Midwest. Oh, I see. Uh, Oh man. So Shay, you know, I asked this question. I got to see, you know, if you could put three people on the independent scene to face, who would those three people be? Hmm. I would say does impact consider as the independent scene? We can. We can. I would say, well, obviously Mickey James. Oh, right. Um Maddie Rinkowski. I would love to fight Maddie Rinkowski. Um, who else? I think Jasmine Allure. I really like her style of wrestling, so I'd love to fight her as well. Maddie Rinkowski's on the tag team. She's tag team champions at Mission Pro. If you had to pick a tag team partner, who would your tag team partner be? Um, Emmy Camacho, of course. Uh <laughs> So after she turned heel on y'all, y'all in better state and everything. Hey, know. I mean she's she's made up for it, you know. She's made up oh, for okay. it. <laughs> but do you think you can still trust? I don't know. We'll see. You always gotta keep your enemies closer, though. You know. Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Uh, I'm gonna ask the most serious question I ask here on the podcast. Okay. The rocker Stone Cold. Stone Cold.
Yes. Stone Cold, guys. Stone Cold. Constellation Prize. Uh, that was the last one that we was going to answer that. So, you know, Stone Cold has got it. So the new question that we ask now, first time asking this. Brett or Shawn Michaels? Mm, Shawn Michaels. HBK all day. Yeah. I don't have a poster of them anywhere. <laughs> uh, America's Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. How do we get to the name America's Sweetheart? Actually, the fans named me that. I um yeah, I didn't really have like my moniker yet, but I do come out to American Woman by Lenny Kravitz. And I was in a match one day. And I was, you know, taking the heat and stuff, and the chant, the fans started chanting "America, sweetheart," and it just stuck from there. Okay, what area are you from? Are you from the uh, Texas area? Yes, I'm in the DFW area. Okay, Dallas Fort Worth. Shout out to them. Yes. So, you started during COVID. So you've been wrestling now for two and a half, three years? Yes, almost three years. I started in June, June of 2020, yeah. Okay. Okay. So if I had to ask you if your outlook from now in the next five years, what what are like your plans and your dreams? Do you have an outlook for wrestling? Um, I would love for wrestling to be my main job. Like, I would love to get signed somewhere one day. Ultimately, obviously, my goal is WWE. I love WWE ever since I was a kid. And that's why I would love to get signed. But I would be happy to be signed anywhere. I just want wrestling to be my main source of income, be the only thing I do, because it's the only thing I love. Mm. It's the only thing you love? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Oh, man. We're going to find out. Because we have what we call the love out. No, nah, we don't have, we don't have <laughs> that. Uh, what we call this right here is the put yourself over moment. This is where you let the people know your social media, uh, things you have coming up, ways they can support you. If you want to cut a promo because you got the passion of wrestling, this is your time to put yourself over. Sweet. Well, I'm America's sweetheart, and you can find me at Shay Carmichael on Twitter. Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, all of it's the same. And then also my next coming match is going to be at True Colors Mission Pro Wrestling in San Antonio, Texas. And I'll be taking on La Leona, Alejandra the Lion herself. And it's definitely going to be a brawl. So it's one you don't want to miss. If they wanted to book you to get you out of the Texas area, do you have any areas that you wanted to uh, ideal to wrestle in, or do you just want to wrestle everywhere? I just want to wrestle everywhere. And if they want um, to book you, how can they get in touch with you? Um, they can email me at bookshaycarmichael at gmail.com, or you can DM me on any of my social medias. DM for bookings. DM for bookings. <laughs> Shay, what is one thing? that you are totally addicted to? Mm, coffee. Coffee? Yeah, which I actually gave up recently because I'm that addicted to it. So you're not addicted to it if you gave it up recently? Well, it's a struggle. It's a struggle still. So you gave it up, but you're still drinking it? No, I'm trying really hard. New. I had it a few days ago. I will say I did, but I am trying really hard to give it up. It's it's bad to my bank accounts, bad to my, my gut health. I need to get, get rid of it. Now, Aisha, you said you give it up, but you had it a few days ago. Yes, I'm trying. I did go 21 days without it. And then I was like, Starbucks came out with a new drink. The, it's the Java Mint one or something like that. And I had to have it. You got the Starbucks app? Yeah. You got to delete the app. I know. I took my, I took my debit card and stuff off of it. So this is start. You got. I know taking it. I I did that, but I deleted the app and it stopped me for a while. Mm. But I don't. I've never drank coffee a day in my life. I get um the 
they well up here they used to call it the caramel apple cider but it's like the caramel macchiato or something and they put the apple in there for me but every time i get one of those it's like it's ridiculous so i was like you know what i can't keep doing this Mm -hmm. and they remodeling the one by my house so it's like hey got no (laughs) time to even have to worry about it yeah Um, go on no you got it i was gonna say there's a coffee shop down here i don't know if y'all have it it's called 151 coffee and that is my favorite coffee place ever yeah i think it's only here right now it might be in oklahoma as well but it's amazing 151 coffee Mm -hmm. only in the dallas area no, I think they're breaching out into other areas besides Dallas, but I, I'm not really sure. How do you take your coffee? Any type of way or? Um, it has to be iced. I don't like hot coffee. Oh, you're not even drinking, you drink it iced. See, that's, that's a cheat code. I don't believe that's like really coffee to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is. It is coffee. Yeah, I like all like, you know, the, the sugary coffee. Not, not just some black coffee. It's got to be some... All the creamer, the sweetener, and all that stuff in it. It's got to be the one with the most calories in it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Guys, bring Shay some uh, Starbucks gift cards to the shows. <laughs> when you see her, the people at Mission Pro, they be bringing uh, all type of candy and chips. I know. Uh, I noticed that. Bring her uh, a Starbucks gift card. She'll <laughs> love it. Be so excited. <laughs> Let's see. Shay. Do you have anything going on in wrestling right now that you really enjoy? Mm, I mean, not really. I'm just really just improving myself. Obviously, I was out for 11 months, 10 months around the time, and I'm just improving my health in the ring and improving my stamina back up again. And I think I'm switching up my moveset a lot, too. So we'll see that. What's your favorite move to do? Mm, well, I just I did just learn how to do a top gun drop kick, so I'm enjoying that right now. A top gun drop kick? They call it so many different things. I hear it a lucha drop kick. I hear it a basement drop kick. Just that one. <laughs> if you want to see what she's talking about, watch the next Mission Pro show. Yes. <laughs> uh, if you're not in the area, you can watch it on Title Max Network. Sign up, get two weeks for free, and after that, $9.99. Mm. <laughs> uh love to give a shout out to title match when i can but shay as i tell everybody guys make sure you follow all her social media i just followed her tiktok myself yeah. as we're watching this uh follow her on twitter follow her on instagram yes. do you also have a facebook yes i do For, uh a wrestler page or your actual Facebook? Because I don't tell them to go to person. It's a wrestler page. Okay. Go like the wrestler page. <laughs> uh, I don't tell people to go to personal pages unless you know them and they have told you to come to their personal page. I don't have any personal pages. So. All right. You find me. <laughs> no way to find her on personal pages. Follow the Facebook page. Uh, let's see. Anything else, Shay? I tell people also, you know, we had you on the podcast. I always like to follow up with people like a year later or sometime after to have them back on the show just so we can see the progression from where you at now to where you'll be in a year uh, if you're open to it. I would love to. Right. I told you before I've always wanted to get the little videos y'all make of We Love Wrestling. I love those videos. Yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> I'll go tell the people. So Shay came in the inbox. I did it. I was at the Mission Pro show, put the video up, and she buttered me up. <laughs> oh my, I've always wanted a We Love Wrestling. Oh no, she said I always wanted one of these videos. And I'm like, what a one of what video? Oh, we <laughs> love wrestling video. I'm like, Shay, don't, don't, don't do this. Like, don't, don't butter me up with this. She's like, no, seriously, a we love wrestling video. I'm like, okay. I didn't know y'all had a podcast though, but I just loved the little like little videos y'all made y'all did it like so it's so edited so well and i'm just like oh i love it and i like the little like sign the little like poster here's a great question okay what's one of your craziest moments you've had in wrestling so far Mm. so i would say it's not like super crazy are you talking about like in like a match or like just like life 
whatever you feel like a crazy moment is, you have, it don't it don't like, have to be no particular yeah. area. I feel like this is crazy for me. Um, I did a her Harana off the top rope, and that was a pretty crazy moment for me because one, not a very good jumper. Two, I learned I don't like heights very much when I started wrestling. But honestly, like I did it because um, I watch. It was the Royal Rumble a few years ago. You know who Maurice is, right? Yeah, I don't know Maurice. Maurice. So Maurice is my like favorite wrestler of all time. Like I know I said Mickey James in them, but like Maurice is like one of my. She's my idol. She's my favorite wrestler, and um, she did her Corona at the Royal Rumble against Beth Phoenix and Edge. And I was like, well, if she can do it, because she's never done a move like that before. I was like, well, if she can do it, I can do it. And like two weeks later, I did it on a show. So I feel like that was pretty crazy. Pretty crazy for me. Did you hit it right? What did you say? Did you hit it right? Did you did you like I that? Did. Say it right you know, while I was up there, um, one of the guys had it like grabbed the rope and like shook it. And I like almost lost my balance. And I was like, I can't fall. I cannot fall. It was pretty. Pretty scary moment, but pretty proud of myself for doing that. I don't know if I'll ever do it again. You ever thought about having a, a what's your favorite Maurice moment since she's like your, your person? Hmm. Favorite Maurice moment. You know, I love that moment when she came out as the gobbly goober. Is that what it's called? The gobbly goober? She came out like she like returned from an injury or something like that. She came out and attacked Melina. That was hilarious. Yeah, the gobbly goober. <laughs> Man, the gobbly gooker. When I was, uh, that thing affected me when I was young as a kid because it messed me up. I thought it was going to be something big. Then they had this thing pop out of the egg. And I was <laughs> like, really, this is what we're getting in wrestling right now? I was trying to find, I believe I have a picture with Maurice. Oh, I actually do too. Um... For my 13th birthday, I met her, and she actually posted my picture on her Instagram and Twitter, which I haven't let that thing resurface because I do not look the same. Oh, she have said that. We're going to find it. <laughs> we definitely going to find it and put it in the video. Okay. I had met her. I'm, uh, I met her and Miz, and then as we was leaving, I saw, is it her mom? Yeah. I saw Miz's dad. It was oh. at WrestleMania Access, and we sat there and we talked to them for a little bit. Um, I think they was filming for the TV show, but I wasn't allowing them to put me on the TV show at all because mm. uh, they wanted you to sign a paper. Like, can we get to sign this paper? We use whatever happened. Like, nope, not with it. <laughs> was it Miz and Mrs.? Yes, that's yeah. it. Uh, but she looked good. With all due respect to the men's, you know, but mm -hmm. yeah, she's so beautiful. Sometimes people will compare me to her, and I'm like, that is the best compliment in the world. Compare you to Maurice? Yeah. Um, well, she's out here and say sing the American woman song, but she's a Canadian woman. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's great. You, you ever thought about like trying to get some gear in? like inspired by some of the stuff she used to wear actually my gear is so yeah. i wear the halter top like her and that's the only thing i really do is just because um i do still want to be my own person you know but my gear is only halter top there's only a halter top because of Maurice. uh oh is that hold on let's make you big real quick <laughs> is that your real hair color no <laughs> <laughs> Is it because of Maurice? No, I just feel like blonde suits me better. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I had I've been blonde for quite a long time. Okay. I had to ask. I yeah. couldn't. I can't find a picture. Well, yes, I do got pictures with Maurice. I should have got a picture with Shay Carmichael, but they kicked me out of Mission Pro. <laughs> um, I was trying to get around to everybody. But I am glad that we had you on the podcast. Before we go. Yeah. Uh, any other things we got to open up at the end? She's <laughs> opening up. Mer Shay Carmichael is our friend now. She yeah. she's our friend. If you want to book Shay Carmichael, DM her. I'll she may book Shay Carmichael with the email at Gmail. Book Shay Carmichael at Gmail. 
Uh, see you on the next Mission Pro show against Alejandra the Lion. She says she know about them claws, so <laughs> we're going to see about it. We talked to Emmy Camacho last week. She said her match is going to be a banger. Shay is saying the match is going to be a banger. Seems like the whole True Color card is going to be a banger, even with the main events and the tag team matches they have. So make sure you guys are watching those. Shay, uh, thank you for being America's sweetheart. You know, <laughs> uh, it's been a time. You know what I'm saying, guys? Uh, make sure y'all tune in next week. Just tune in next week. I won't tell you who's going to be on the show. But Shay, <laughs> thank you again. Um, thank you. And I'm Trady. And like I always say, if I love wrestling and you <laughs> love wrestling, then we love wrestling. It's too street. Ah, <laughs> coach. Tell me when I love I got. wrestling and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. Not here, you missing out. Is this show? This is-